Good morning, Cyber Friend, Mini Man. Coming back at you again from Walker's Music with the word for the day, Sunday morning edition. We give God all the praise and the glory and the honor for life, health, and strength. And we also thank Him for each and every one of you. You know who you are, your Cyber Friend. We just want to say this morning, people, we are really, really thankful. We are grateful for the events that has happened on this here Memorial Day weekend. Uh, matter of fact, uh, I uh, take my hat off and I give honor to all the soldiers, all the military, uh, all the people that uh, made the ultimate sacrifice, paid the ultimate sacrifice, in other words, you know, to, to the advancement of our country as a whole, the people, as well as the land, what we stand for, a way of life. I, I give honor to those and I, to, the, to the families that have lost uh, family members by way of being on foreign soil for the fight of freedom. We uh, we give them and we say we, we hold you up to highest esteem and we certainly do appreciate your sacrifice. And we would, dare, would not dare go by this here Memorial Day weekend from giving each and every one of you your accolade. And we're gonna say God bless and keep on keeping on. Uh, the title of my video this morning, as you can see, it's called Fish Sandwich Religion fish sandwich religion. I'm not going to sit here and do a long video hopefully this morning. I'm, uh, matter of fact, I'm getting ready to get out of here to go to my home church and worship service this morning. We uh, we thank God for it. You know, we are uh, we just going out to see and get a word from the Lord and that we can help someone. You know, but I had to just do this this morning because of the fact that it was on my mind. And I came, my mind came back to the point where Jesus fed the 5,000. And I was thinking about Matthew's account. I was thinking about Matthew's account of that situation. And let me say something right here, people. In Matthew's account of this, Jesus fed 5,000 men besides women and children. So now... Just using the law of averages, if every man had at least a wife and a child, that was over 15,000 people he fed that day with two fish, five loaves of bread. After Jesus, after Jesus had, he asked the disciples, and we're going to give them something to eat. I can't send them off. They already have been fasting for a couple of days with me, and I'm not going to send them off uh, famished like that, because they, unless they fall them on the wayside being weak without food so I'm listening that one of the disciples saying Lord yeah but where are we going to get enough bread just to feed just these many folk paraphrase Jesus knew what he was going to do but he was testing his disciples Jesus said what do you have and uh, one of the disciples looked at him and said we got a little boy's lunch you know it consists of two five barley loaves two fish Jesus is bringing to me let me the man know that whatever you have is enough when you put it in the hands of our master. Jesus is bringing to me in. He said, now I want you to do something. I want you to have them to sit down in ranks of fifties and hundreds or whatever. In other words, that was order involved in getting this your major job done. Let us know that we get things in order, we can get some stuff done. Jesus had the disciples sit them down in fifties and, and on the green grass and set them in groups. And then Jesus break, he blessed it and break and gave to his disciples. Actually, the multiplication of the fish and the loaves took place not in Jesus' hand. It took place in the disciples' hand as they were doing and carrying out what Jesus told them to do. People on last evening, I just sent up a video talking about being a coward soldier. In other words, are we going to stand tall as good soldiers for Christ? Whatever Jesus tells us to do, we need to do just that, and we'll be okay. Now, when Jesus had fed the mother two, he sent his disciples out in the midst of the sea, told them to go to the other side. He sent, he stayed behind to send the mother two away. After he had dismissed the congregation, in other words, after church, Jesus went up into the mountain and prayed, stayed there until the full watch of the night. That's when he came to his disciples. People, the full watch of the night is from 3 o'clock in the morning to 6 o'clock at 8 in the a.m. That's the full watch of the night. And that's something else to be said. And I may do a Bible study eventually on the watches of the night. 
but there's something significant about that. And but at any rate, I just wanted to let you know when Jesus walked up, I mean, they saw him coming. They thought he was a ghost, and they got afraid. Jesus, Paul, Peter even said, "Lord, if it be yourself, let be it me to come to you on the water." And we know the story. But that is not really what I want to talk about. I'm talking about do you have a fish sandwich religion? We have, we all, we all can get sometimes comfortable and when everything is going right with us and our bills are being paid and our needs are being met and we get real, we, okay, we can get very, very comfortable and we get very, very very, very religious at that particular point in time. We, 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 our belief are very high, our faith is very high, but everything is being met. But what about those times when things don't seem, now hear me what I say, things don't seem to be going the way we want it. Those are the times of testing people. That's what I'm trying to say. We as believers, we know that Jesus has said that he would never leave or forsake us. But people remember all of the giants and the big champions of faith of the Bible. They were all tested. They were all tested. Every one of them were tested. And the one thing that we should to try to have in common with those great giants of faith, we should stand. Go on through the test. And through it all, we should come out as pure gold. So this is what I mean, people. Let us not have that, that fish sandwich mentality. That fish sandwich religion mentality where we only follow Christ for the fish and the Lord. In other words, when Jesus went to the other side of the uh, of the sea, and when he got there, the people were yet seeking for him. And Jesus even made mention that one time. He said, "For the because of the feeding, of the because of the fish and the loaves, you seek me. But we should seek our Master and Savior for an entirely different reason. We should seek and we should search out and seek for the Master because of the fact that we are dying and going to a burning hell." If we do have not accepted him as our savior, personal savior, and then and took what he did on Calvary and received that gift, free gift, we only must believe people and we shall see the glory of God. Take that sacrifice. Then, then, and only then will you be out from under that fish sandwich religion. In other words, that fish sandwich mentality. In other words, we only seeking and we only we can only serve when things are going well. We can only go to church and to our prospective place and our home place and do what's right only when things are going right for us. But when things go against us a little bit, then we lose sight of the mission directive. And then we're going to do it our way. But remember, people, it's not your way. This is not a Burger King. Uh, this is not a Burger King uh, 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 relationship. It's not, you don't have it your way. But we do it God's way. That is the word for today. And with that being said, we're admitted man going to tell you, please, let, if, if, we, if you have any idea, if you have any idea at all, and you think that you are up under this category as having that fish seven religion mentality, let us repent. Let us come out from under and let us seek the same. In other words, I'm going to tell you something else about that. We don't have to seek the same. If we be still, he knows where we are. We come directly. He'll come all the way to us. Just like the father did with the prodigal son. He would run to us. All we need to do is just recognize that we need a Savior. And then just submit and yield. Understanding and acknowledge that we've been wrong. And repent. Cry out and repent of your sin. Just repent. If you're doing wrong, just stop it. Ask Jesus to come into your life. And he'll fix all that that's need fixing. And then he will even help you to do some things that you marvelous thing you will never never thought thought that you could do. I'm a living witness of that, people, because some things that I have been able to do now that I know I was never able to do it in the past. Uh, -uh not in that, not in that lost state. No, 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 no. I know better. But in other words, whatever you get, whatever you get into it, God ain't in it. Please, ma'am, please, sir, come on out of it because it's gonna come to nothing. This is me, the man, saying if you're going out to the house of prayer today, make certain, make certain that you hear from God and not man only. Because it is the word of God that's going to save the world. This is me, the man, saying peace. Goodbye.